Welcome back to the Vero Projects. And uh, today, a lot of people have been asking me how to play the Plan vs. Zombie with the Ultimate Boss Edition. And what this does, it gives you all the bosses um, for you to play the game. So, um, the way you load this mod, and let me teach you how to do this because it took me a while to fully understand how to do this, was I first uh, arrived here at uh, Nexus Mods, right? And uh, once you arrive here at Nexus Mods, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to do a manual download. Okay, and you're going to download uh, that zip file that's needed for the mod, right? Once you're done with that, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go and download this tool called the Frosty Tool Suite. And you're going to make sure you get this version here, the Mod Manager, okay? So after you arrived at those two spots, what you're going to want to do next is... Um, you're going to want to go to Steam and install uh, Plants vs. Zombie, the Deluxe Edition, okay? And once it's installed, right, it's all good to go. And you can see that you could play it, but we're not going to play it right now. What we're going to do is we're going to do something different, which is we're going to go ahead and run the, the Frosty Mod application, okay? So... Uh, the frosty mod application what you're going to do is you're going to do file select the game and then you're going to add a new game okay when you add the game what you want to do is you want to find the executable file right where the games are so i found out that if you go to steam okay you can go here and you can go to browse local files And it will automatically find the exe for you okay once you find that exe you're going to completely copy this uh browse uh the, the path itself and then you're going to come here and then you're going to go ahead put in your path and then you're going to select this one and open it okay once you've opened it okay okay once you've opened it and hold on one second because it closed out. Okay, once you've opened it, what you're going to do is the mod that you download it, okay, from the Nexus mods, you're going to go ahead here and add your mod, right? So I have mine on my desktop and I've already added the mods. This is the visionary mod and this is the ultimate boss mod. So I did that and I press open and it automatically adds it here. Now, this is the you got to make sure that once this gets added you apply it and then you check this right and then one other thing that i've noticed that it makes it work is going to options and making sure here that all of these are checked and then all of these are checked here because if they're not checked it's not going to work so original checked ea desktop is checked steam is checked and Epic Games Launcher is checked, okay? You might have some other ones, but make sure that they're all checked, okay? So now that they're all checked, what you're gonna wanna do is, um, you're gonna go ahead and launch the game, right? So we're gonna launch, a few things will happen, and uh, just keep an eye on it. You will see this progress here, waiting for game. Here you go. You see it says Ultimate Boss Edition. And 
And now you will see that you have all the bosses that you want. Well, as you see, I was able to change the characters. And uh, let me see what other character we can get here. Something different. So yeah, that's how you do it. Um, let us know uh, your thoughts. You know, if you need any help or anything like that, uh, go ahead and comment on the video below. Thank you for watching the Vera Projects. And uh, I'll see you next time with another great video. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And uh, please go ahead and like us and share it with your friends. I appreciate it.